It's been six wonderful weeks, four fabulous days, and seven precious hours. And to make it absolutely clear, one flawless boyfriend. Bridget, what on earth are you doing? Getting dressed. Why are you dancing around in that tent? I don't want you to see any of my wobbly bits. Because I happen to have a very high regard for your wobbly bits. Really? Hello. It's me. I just had a rather graphic flashback. You do have a genuinely gorgeous bottom. Thank you. I'm actually with the Mexican ambassador and the head of Amnesty International and the undersecretary for trade and industry, and you're on speakerphone. Oh, right. The question is, once you've found true love, how do you make it last forever? Hi. Bridget, I think you should go to the ladies. Trust me on this one. No. I was trying not to get hopes up too high. I mean, I am a realist. I'm never going to get married. Come on, Bridget. You must want to hear those ding-dong bells. You know, I never really understood why you wanted to go out with me. I embarrass you. I can't ski. <laughs> and yes, I will always be just a little bit fat. <gasps> Bridget, this is mine. You have absolutely no messages. Not a single one. I'm giving up all men and carbohydrates. Ever thought about doing it in the dark with a total stranger? No, all right, then. That's not a total stranger. Back off, Cleaver. I'm a serious journalist. In a stupidly short skirt. Oh, do you like it? Renee Zellweger, Hugh Grant, Colin Firth. There was a very important question I wanted to ask you, despite events and circumstances and perhaps... Bridget Jones is fine. Darcy? I thought you'd been dumped. Would you step outside, please? Oh, no, it's not possible. He must still love me. There's nothing like love. Oh, you're going in, Cleaver. To send you. You're coming with me, you hey. Over the edge. <laughs> Bridget Jones, the edge of reason. Doesn't matter. It's not about looks. <laughs>